Is there something that stands out to you? I mean, I'm joking about like best, something that was impactful to you. Just to put it out there, I, I don't think there's any, any way to say that there are objectively, you know, yes. the best three documentaries of all time. But for me, and you may find this interesting given your background, is that I think my top three are all from the Eastern Bloc, actually. So, mm. so Aquarella by Kosogovsky, Victor Kosogovsky is one of my favorite. And it's a couple years old now, which is sort of a meditation on the place water has on our planet and on our lives. Um, I, I think uh, A Woman Captured that I mentioned, which was shot in Hungary. Is it a feature length one? It's or a feature, feature. Both, both are feature lengths, yeah. Um, it is just brilliant. And it, I think, has yet to find distribution here in the US. <laughs> You know, but it's the perfect example of, of what they call, you know, verite or direct um, nonfiction filmmaking. A European woman, this is the synopsis, a European woman has been kept by a family as a domestic slave for 10 years, drawing courage from the filmmaker's presence. She decides to escape the unbearable oppression and become a free person. Wow, so the filmmaker is part of the story. Part of the story becomes, it didn't start that way, but during the course of the story, the filmmaker under, becomes comes to understand that this is actually modern day slavery. And rather than just allow it to be, actually enables and assists this woman to, to free herself from slavery and become a free woman. I wonder, sorry, on a small tangent before we get to number three, like Icarus is interesting too. How often do you become part of the story? Or the story is different because of your presence. Like, uh, like you, yeah. <laughs> you changed the tide of history. <laughs> yeah. Well, back to like one person at a time that we keep talking. You know, we, yes. keep, we keep coming back to that theme on some level. So, so this could tie in interestingly to one of my one of my favorite films, actually. So, um, the last two films that I would mention for my top four list would be the third Eastern Bloc one would be a film called Immortal in 2019, which was shot in Russia by a Russian woman um, that sort of, you know, examines uh, the place of the state in um, in shaping individuals to be vehicles for the state. I mean, that's my own synopsis, but that's one of my takeaways from the brilliant 60-minute doc or so. Um, again, Russian filmmaking, right? It's really quite quite good and powerful. The fourth one would be a Frederick Wiseman film, Titicut Follies, um, which was filmed in the U.S. decades ago uh, in, in, inside basically the bowels of an of a insane asylum or a mental health institution. And, and I bring up Wiseman because, you know, he is really the, the godfather, so to speak, of, of direct cinema or cinema verite. 